going? Well, you got uh, a day off yesterday, no video of me uh, today. Lucky you, I am back. And uh, today we're going to talk about or division with decimal numbers and remainders. Again, this is Friday, 918, and here we go. Sometimes you have problems that don't work out exactly correct. Uh, or even, it's like 10 divided by 4. Okay? That's not going to e equal out. So I've got 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I want to make four equal groups. Well, I can make a group here and here and here and here. But now I've actually got two left over or two remaining that are not in any groups. Okay? And you may have seen this, you may have talked about this would be two, two in each group with the remainder of two. Okay, now this makes sense in some applications. Okay, that makes sense in some applications, but not all. Say we had 10 dogs and four kennels. How many dogs per kennel? Well, you could put two dogs in each kennel and you'd have two left over. Okay, if you would only put two dogs in each kennel, you would have four kennels but you'd have two dogs left over. Okay? Sometimes that doesn't make sense. Uh, sometimes we need something a little more precise and sometimes the remaining doesn't make sense. Okay? There's another way we can do it. We have seen this in the place value chart now a couple times. Let's do this, tens, ones, tenths. Okay? That means the decimal point's going there. 10 divided by 4 means 1 in the tens and zeros everywhere else. We could put it in the decimal point if we want to, but we don't nearly need to. And then we need to make these four equal groups, right? There's 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, that 110 I cannot put here, right? I've only got 110. There's not much I can do with that. But what I can do is I can exchange that 110 for 10 ones, right? This is like a $10 bill. I like $10 bills. And I'm exchanging it for 10 $1 bills. 10 $1 bills is the same thing as 10 10. One $10 bill. It's the same thing. But now I can take these 11 and I can start placing them in my four groups. And I got one, two, three, four, one at a time in each group. They have to stay the same, okay? There's eight, right? If I go again, eight, nine, 10, 11, and I'm going to run out, I cannot keep the same number of marbles in the same group, okay? So I've used eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means I have three left over. I have three left over. Okay? And I could take that three and I could exchange them and make 30. Okay? Now I'm not going to go all the way through that. Okay? Uh, I'm not going to go all the way through that. Why does that not work out? Oh, it's not 11, it's 10 left over. I knew there was something going on here. That was a zero, not a marble. <laughs> so I actually had 10 here, right? There was nothing there to begin with. And I moved that one over, that one $10 bill made 10 ones. I shared that, that means I had two left over. That means I have 20 over here. And I could share these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And I have used all of my marbles. Okay? And I can just read this. That's, I need to know how many in each group. Well, there's two decimal points. Five. Okay? Two and five tenths, two and a half. Sometimes two and a half makes more sense than two remainder two. This is the same. They're equal answers. Both have applications, but they're not appropriate in every application. Like I said, if I have ten dogs and four kennels, I want to know how many I can put in each kennel. I can put uh, two, and I've got two dogs left over. Or uh, 
just say I had 10 cakes and I wanted to take them to four parties. Well, I could take two and a half cakes to each party. I wouldn't want to take two remainder, two cakes. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, but two and five tenths or two and a half cakes, I know what that is. I can take two and a half cakes to each party. Okay, so sometimes the decimal answer makes sense and sometimes the remainder answer makes sense. But these are equal. You can see I did the same work here. Okay. Um, so the whole thing that we're talking about here is leftovers. Like in the that last one, okay, we had one and we couldn't do anything, so we made, moved it to the ones column and made ten ones. Well, that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to practice. And you're going to do that. Uh, you did some of that yesterday in the place value chart, okay. So we're going to show some more of that, and you're going to do some of that with the box method. Okay, we're going to do some of that with the box method. Again, here's an example. 100 divided by, uh, divided by 4 again. I'm sorry. I'll be honest with you. It's, I'm doing this in the afternoon. Usually I make these in the morning. Um, in the afternoon, my brain, a little bit fried. So I'm, I'm trying, though. Give me a little slack. Cut me a little slack. Okay, 100 divided by 4. Well, once divided by four, we know how to set these up. We've been doing quite a few of these. Well, there's one in the hundreds and none in the tens and none in the ones. Again, that 100 I cannot break apart and put in there equally, so I've got to exchange that. That means now I get... 10 tens, 10 tens are equal to 100, and those I can divide out. I've used 8. I've got 2 left over, that means I now have 20. I'll draw them out for you. You know what, this looks a lot like the problem we just did. Why is that? Alright. Take those 5 down, I have 25. Hey, those are the same digits I had just a second ago. Just a second ago, I did 10 divided by 4, and I got 2 and 5 tenths. Now I've done 100 divided by 4, and I got 25. The 25. Okay. Uh, just as an aside note, oh, just as a side note, uh, 10 divided by 4 equals two and five tenths, 100 divided by four equaled 25. How are these two related? And think about how these two are related. Well, 100 is 10 times as big as 10. 10 times 10 is 100. And 25 is 10 times bigger than two and five tenths, right? If I put two and five tenths on a place value chart, uh, and then multiply by 10, that means everything's getting bigger. Here's my decimal, sliding one place to the left. Okay. All right, so, uh, in your homework today, you're going to have place value chart right next to box division. Okay, We talked a little bit about box division. I'm going to include another video uh, that does a good job. It does a good job. Probably better than me. But I'm going to do some of that side by side here. I've got 9 and 1 tenth divided by 5. This may be on your homework. I can't remember. But I'm going to do the place value chart over here. I need a ones place, and it looks like a tenths place. Okay, so that's nine and one tenth. Okay, and right alongside this, I'm going to do the box method. Oh. My box, I need a little more room. I'm going to do the box method, All right? Nine, one, and I said 
talked yesterday about how it doesn't matter if you have decimal values in here or not, or whole numbers, as long as you keep track of that decimal point. It's going to go right up there. So I'm dividing by 5. So that means I need to get 5 groups down here. There's 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, now I start sharing dots. So that means that I get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can't do any more because I've only got four and I can't share those equally. So those four have to go over here and I'm going to add 40 to that one that's already there. So I'm just going to write now 41. That's a lot of circles. I'm not sure I'm up to that many circles. Okay. Now, I've got to share those 41 circles, marbles, in these five groups. Okay. And that's going to make groups of 8. 8 times 5 is 40. Okay. 8 times 5 is 40, so I know I've used 40, and that leaves me with one marble left over. Well, I'm not using the remainder. It's not 9 and 1 tenth remainder. One, I'm going to take that one, and just like I did with these four, I'm going to exchange it. Of course, now I get 10. One exchange is for 10. And I can share those 10 among those five. And you'll see that, obviously, they would get two each. So that means that I've got a one. Here's a tenth, so that means I've got to have a decimal point. Eight, two. Okay. 1 and 82 hundredths. Okay, let's see what the box looks like over here. Uh, 5 into 9. If I have 9 marbles, I can make one group of 5. So I will have used 1 times 5. I've used 5 marbles out of that group of 9. So here's my 4, and I'm going to bring that over here. Uh, look, here's 41. Here's 41. I'm now in the tenths place. You can think about these as place values. This is the tenths, 41 over here with the circles, 41 here in the box. Uh, something times 5 gets me close to 41, that is 8. 8 times 5 is 40. That leaves 1 left over. Oh, but I'm out of boxes. I must be done. No. You could draw a little bit more box. Draw some more box. Now then, you can think of this as putting a 0 in here and bringing the 1 straight up. Or you can think about when you exchange 1 to the next place value to the right, you get 10. Okay? Some people like to draw a box and put a 0 in there because we know zeros at the end of decimal points don't have any value. Sorry, I'm getting off the screen. Uh, or you can just think of it as bringing 1 over and exchanging it for 10. Now, blank times 5 equals 10. That is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. And I have no marbles left over. Okay? I like this. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, I have left some holes, question marks on top, question marks across the bottom. I filled in some of the, the differences, the result after you get to do the subtraction. So you ought to be able to follow along on the uh, slides that you're going to do on Friday. I think you should do just fine. We need to see another example. Okay. Um, do one more. I'm not sure if we need to do a whole bunch more. I'm going to have another video, the guy doing an example. Uh, you're going to practice. You've got this one. You've got notes. Well, you, we uh, watched or we worked together yesterday in class on this. So I think just one more should do it. Let's do uh, 91. Oh, yeah. 91 divided by 4. That's 91 holes. There's no decimal point there. So uh, feel all right about that so far. Decimals kind of make me nervous sometimes. I got the tens place. I got the ones place. Uh, I know I've got nine over here. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got one here and I need to make four equal groups. Two, three, four. I'm getting better with my lines. Okay. And the box. Let's do 
do a box side by side. A nine and a one, four, and we're talking area models, so it's a area model box method, very similar. So multiplication sign up there. All right. I've got nine marbles. Can I make groups of four? Can I spread them equally in groups of four? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've used everything but that one. Okay. Over here now. I've got nine okay, marbles. I want to know how many groups of four. I can do two. Two times four is eight. I've got one left over. One left over here, one left over here. This one left over here, I need to exchange it. So that means I'm getting 10 more. Not 10 more, I'm exchanging it, right? That's 110, that's $10 bill, I'm getting 10 ones. And over here, I'm taking this one and I'm moving it up here with the one that's already there. Notice I have 11 marbles in my group here and I have 11 over here. Okay? So if I have 11, I want to separate those out, divide them equally. I can divide 8 equally, and that leaves me with 3 left over. So I'm going to bring that over here, and I'm just going to write the number 30. Over here, 4 goes into 11 twice. That's 8. That's three, I've got three. I'm going to need another box. So I'm going to bring that three over and that's my 30. Okay, I'm in the tenths place so I need a decimal point. Okay, 30. I could put seven in each. And that's going to leave me two left over. Again, I could put seven in each. Seven times four is 28, and I've got two left over. <sighs> not done. Sorry, I got out of the frame there. You're not done. No, 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 no. There's work to be done. You gotta do work. We're not done. There is yet work to be done. Uh, so I've got two left over here. That is unfortunate. That means that I need to go from the tenths I'm going to have to go here and do the hundredths, and my screen's going to get messy. That two is going to be 20 over here, and that means I can put five in each. Okay. Over here, I have to draw another box. That two becomes a 20 when I exchange it. Okay. And five times four is 20. Finally, I'm done. I've lost all my marbles. Literally. Lost all my marbles. Okay. If I want to figure this out, I have to count. I have to see what's in one group. That's a two in the tens, a two in the ones, a, was that, seven in the tenths, and five in the hundredths, which is the same thing I have right here. 22 and 75 hundredths. Believe me, you will get better. You will get better. Okay. Uh, and now, uh, we're just doing the smaller division with decimal problems. Um, we're not getting outrageous. You're not doing like uh, 4,312 divided by uh, 68. That's coming. Later. Later. You don't have to worry about that right now. Later. Okay. Uh, right now, smaller numbers. Okay, These are better. All right. Uh, give good effort on your homework, get caught up on your math journal this week, and Monday when uh, you don't have school, that's a great day to get caught up with your math journal, just pretend it's a school day. Uh, get caught up with all your stuff, knock it out, all right? We want you back here, uh, we want everybody caught up, uh, hopefully the following week, that's what we're hearing, possibly on the 30th, uh, so we're believing we're getting uh, pretty juiced for that. Don't give up now, work all the way through the virtual. We expect you to have your work done when you show up on the 30th. Okay? You need to have all of this done, ready to go. I am going to want to see your math journal completed. I'm going to collect them uh, probably on that Friday so that I can go through them over the weekend and um, 
following will be fall break.